Hello everybody, Washoot here, and welcome to the Mystery Files of Detective Inaba. Inaba, number one. All right, so this is a game that just got super recently translated. Like, I'm right on top of it. It's just like a week old or something. I can't remember. Uh, there are a couple of them. They've only translated one of them, so everybody go bother them to get the other ones translated. So this is what it's about. Uh, cut off from the outside world. Murders are being committed one after another inside a mansion deep in the woods. Can Detective Sogo Inaba apprehend the culprit and find a way out before there's no one left to save? I mean, it sounds pretty freaking awesome, so let's just do this. This game contains horror elements and bloody scenes. You put that as a warning, that's what everybody wants, you freak. Congratulations on another successful case today, Mr. Inaba, sir. You like an assistant? Huh. I found so many missing children or pets. I could easily do it in my sleep. This is hardly worth praising me for. Don't even start, Mr. Inaba. If I recall correctly, you were just about to jump ship until I happened to spot the kitty cat for you. What is wrong with her face right now? <laughs> you are not wrong about that. It wouldn't do us any good to tire out the mind of a great detective with such trifles. That's why all menial tasks fall to you, Ari Mura. Whatever. Japanese names. So you say, but it's been a while since we've had a huge case fall into our laps. All I'm saying is that it wouldn't kill you to put in a bit more effort. There you go again, running off that big mouth of yours. If only there was some way to control this nasty habit. Oh my god, dude, that's like abuse. Ow, he's top pulling my cheek! Ah, uh, still, this rain is something else. No kidding. It started the moment we got into the mo or mountain path. Maybe they're like brother and sister, because if that was just like an actual assistant, you just reach over, just freaking grab her face. Be like, oh my god, you're so annoying, let me just pull on your head. I don't feel like that's, yeah. Maybe they have a relationship. Maybe she's a jerk and they just get even, you know? How am I supposed to know? It's just starting. Huh? Has the bus stopped? I apologize for the sudden stop. I ask that all y or you all please remain in your seats and wait here patiently while I take care of this. Alright? Okay, bye. Did something happen? This may prove to be fort fortuitous for us. Come, Arimura, let's check this out. Right behind you. Oh, this is a fun dynamic already. Okay, so let's use our detective skills to be able to figure out why the bus stopped. Um, the game gave me a tiny little hint on the page that we're... Oh, she's not following me. Oh, yeah, she is. Look at those silhouettes. You can't save. Oh, shit. Is this just like a one and done? That's not good. Ah, for this bus to suddenly stop out of nowhere. I wonder if something's up. Well, you look like every person that I don't like from my childhood. Could have been an accident. Mm -hmm. Well, is everything all right? Daijobu desk guy, it's gonna be okay. All right, I'm gonna figure this out. They told us to sit in here. The side, but oh. Well, I'm just gonna drive the bus. Nope. Oh, it's like the boogeyman. What do we got? Aw, oh, man, this isn't good. There's something wrong. My apologies, but it seems that we might have a slight delay. Somehow, it seems like we're trapped by a landslide. I'm pretty sure that I just saw someone, like, literally run by the side of the bus, but they, like, tricked you with it because the, the text came up. That's about the right of it. For now, we can't proceed any further. You can't be serious! You'd mean to tell me that we're all trapped, we're all doomed to die here? What? That's the logical conclusion, yes. Please, Arimura, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Calm down. It's gonna be okay. It's just, we're just all together here in a bus. We got a nice roof. I'm trying to place the time period. I mean, if it's a bus, that makes it probably like... 70s and up. Matt, were there buses in the 60s? They didn't look like that if they were there. Haha, -ha, don't worry, we'll be fine. 
While we can't get to our destination with the road in this state, we can always head back to town if we need to. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Not to mention that with this being the only road, it could take around a week to repair. A whole week? Sorry to intrude on your happy parade, but we actually can't return back to town. What? Oh, there you are. Oh, look at you. God, your hat is so weird. Oh, jeez. The landslide affected the road behind us as well. Well. No way. That can't be. Dear me, our troubles keep on piling up. I imagine the heavy rain isn't increasing our prospects of a timely rescue much either. And I can only imagine how hard it might be to live inside a bus for an extended period of time. Where were we going? How far, you said it, how far was it to the city? Just send someone to walk after the rain stops. You little prissy people just sitting there. Back in my day, we used to walk to school. It was 20 miles. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. My prom, oh. Premonition was true. We're all gonna die here. Calm Okay, oh, calm yourself. Don't be so absurd. Objective is now quite simple. Let's seek out, let's seek out a shelter. Is she like one of those people that like believes in horoscopes and shit? She's like, oh no, my, oh god, the fucking Zodiac this year. God, I'm just gonna, oh, we're all gonna die. I'm surrounded by Tauruses. Ah, yes, yes, sir. I'll help search. Then I'll bring the rest of the passengers up to date. I'd appreciate that. All right. What was I gonna do? Can I save yet? Why will you not let me save? You don't understand me. I have to save every couple seconds or I get incredible anxiety. What, we can't go in? Why not? This bus doesn't have... This bus doesn't decode. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's me. The landslide is preventing you from going any further. Alrighty, well. How about that? Let's get ourselves over here then. Whoa. So this way leads into the woods, huh? The rain is just as bad here. Nothing is making this any easier. Whenever games do that, like what just happened right here, where I was walking right and then suddenly I'm facing up, my whole brain and the whole world just, it almost just comes to a rough stop because I have to think about what just happened. It's a friction of reality. What are you doing here? Nah, you can easily get lost in these woods. I hope it's all worth it if we find some shelter here. Uh-huh. You know... I mean, that path was, like, pretty clear. I feel like there's a good possibility. I think I see cobblestone over there, too. We followed a cobblestone? No? Maybe? Uh-uh. Well, you know what? It was worth a try. Is it? Whoa! <laughs> Isn't this place? Yes, it appears to be a graveyard. But why would there be a graveyard in the middle of the woods? To feed the trees. It's called recycling human beings. It's good for the environment. God. Where would you want to put them? Somewhere that the freaking earthworms just seen them? Actually, the earthworms are what, like, make them usable by everything, aren't they? I was reading this book. I can't remember what the hell it was called. And it was, uh, everybody wants to talk about how the bees are the most important insect in the world, but they're, like, totally eclipsed in importance by earthworms. I mean, bees are important, don't get me wrong. But we can, like, partially do the job of bees. Just not on the scale. I'm looking forward to when we can, like, just do that shit with drones and just have, like, all the third graders just... What am I still doing here? Just have all the third graders drive, like, these little, um... I don't know, like, inch-sized, insect-sized bees everywhere. It's like, oh, look at you. You're gonna pollinate the flowers. Is that child labor? I don't know, because I, I feel... I can't think of one third grader that wouldn't want to just participate in saving the world slowly by... Driving around little drones and pollinating the flowers themselves. I want to do that. No freaking grown ass man. That sounds fun. Mm -hmm. Oh god! Wow, they didn't tell me this was a horror game. Don't do that to me. Uh, here. Whoa! Whoa! Look at this huge mansion. Huh? It doesn't look too more worn down. It's likely someone still lives here. Don't you think? <laughs> my detective skills. Then we don't have to die here. Ah, clearly. Oh my god. Huh? Where's the typical witty retort of yours, Mr. Inaba? 
Y you're doing this on purpose, aren't you? That's where you two went. Oh, could this be? Huh. A closed area with walls and a roof. It must be a house! You're correct. I think we found exactly what we're looking for. What good news? I'll go to the other passengers here at once. No, don't bring them here. Oh, no. Oh, it's gonna be cramped. Now then, hopefully there's someone living here. I mean, like, if this was my house, I wouldn't just help people. Okay, I mean, I would probably help people, but I would, like, go around and collect all my valuables first. I hope so, too. All right, kick down the door. I think that's the most important part of being a detective is the ability to kick doors in. The movies have taught me anything. How about the door? That'd be a great place to start. Ah, oh, this mansion doesn't have a doorbell. And the front door isn't locked either. Might as well try entering, I guess. Bam, get me in here. Wow, it's dark in here. Please pardon our intrusion. Shureshimas. Shureshimasu. Trade. I think that's it. Don't. Due to unforeseen circumstances, we had no choice but. What are you doing? You're uninvited guests entering someone else's home. Isn't it simply polite manners to apologize in advance to clear up any misunderstandings? Being polite is one thing, but divulging your life story when there's no one to listen is another. Uh, so truly there's no one here? I guess all we can do for now is try to find the circuit breaker or something to get the lights back on. Don't you have anything that can give some light in the meantime? Like a cell phone? Flashlight? Lighter? If you're a detective, you probably smoke. Isn't that an unspoken rule of Japanese detectives? Is that they smoke? In fact, I do- OH MY GOD, THEY DO HAVE A LIGHTER! Uh, I knew it! In fact, I do. I have a lighter in my pocket. Bam. Help. How to play. Enter Z to- What is happening? X key? Z- Uh-huh. Enter key. Examine and confirm. Why would you not let me- Okay, that is the right key. Never mind. Alright. Arrow keys movement. S key skip text. It skips all text whether you have previously read or not. Okay, don't press the S key. Gotcha. You can use items in your inventory by accessing items from the menu. Keys will be automatically used. Blah, 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 blah. Thank you. Good work, Mr. Inaba. Now let's shed some light onto our situation. <laughs> Alright, I'm ready. For that. Oh, they're gonna make me do it. Can I say- I can't finally save! Hell yeah. Oh my god. Look at me so adorable. Are we angry? We look like we could be angry. Zippo lighter. That's copyrighted. Inaba's favorite lighter. I like to burn things. Ooh. All right. Oh my god, it's so dark and spooky. Oh. Uh, what is that? This is no time to be freaking out, Mr. Inaba. Let's just turn on the lights and figure out where the strange sound is coming from. Yes, of course. Oh. Are we actually a coward? I think we might actually be a scaredy pants. That's fun. All right. Door's locked. A door's locked. Ooh. An extremely valuable vase adorns the table. That is definitely a lamp. What are you talking about? All right. Well, we tried. Let's make our way back. We're looking for a circuit room. I have no idea where a logical place for a circuit room would be. Why is every door locked? Is every vase extremely valuable looking? Oh, no. Oh, don't do that. How did it break on its own? Who knows? It isn't likely it shattered on its own from old age. You're not gonna dock my pay for this, right? Can't you be a gentleman and foot the bill? Dude, we're just gonna walk away and pretend it wasn't us. Be serious. Where is it? Oh. Turn off that frickin' st Let's get the lights back on first. Oh. Is this it? The circuit breaker! <laughs> I have no idea which switch does what, so don't just flip them all! Oh, it seems my lighter just ran out of fluid. What perfect timing. Oh. Huh. Oh, shiny. Huh, looks like a set of keys are hanging here. With this, the entire mansion is our proverbial oyster. Obtained set of keys. Are you serious? They just gave me all the keys in the frickin' mansion at the same time? Game. Way to be reasonable. All this time, it was just static coming from the radio. Maybe, but who on earth would turn it on? It's best not to waste one's brain power over such annoyances. 
That scared stupid, huh, Mr. Inaba? Oh, oh, not again! Let go of my cheek! Oh, tweak. Let go of my tweak. Oh, dear. All right. Uh, huh. So we got our set of keys. A ring with a bunch of keys attached to it. Why do they give me all the keys? Oh, that's so forgiving. Normally, when you play these games, they, like, give it to you one at a time. You're, like, starving for progression. Ah, hello there, Mr. Bus Driver. I brought the rest of the passengers. Great, thanks for doing that. That's great. Hopefully they don't get murdered one at a time. What the hell? You gotta be effing kidding me about all this. Ooh, what a punk. No reason to get all worked up. Such is life. Indeed it is. An impassable road. After all, an impassable road. Alright, gender. You. Hmm. I'm not gonna make any assumptions. Uh, it's up to. It's not that it matters. I just always like to uh, just think about that kind of stuff. Can't say I approve of the atmosphere here. It's a tad eerie. Is anyone living here at present? Doesn't look like it, does it? Well, I have no qualms about using this mansion as our own personal lodging for the night. Okay, I figured that you wouldn't. Same. And if the owner does come back, all we have to do is explain our situation. He will surely understand. Well, way to assume the gender of the owner. They could very well be uh, a woman or somebody on the spectrum. Sounds like a plan! In the meantime, I ask that please wait patiently for help to arrive. I'll do everything in my power to ensure the promptest rescue possible. Bus driver, you are not driving the bus anymore. You are just someone in the mansion with us. You don't have to take on that responsibility. Gah. Guess we got no choice. Well now, seeing as we'll all be <laughs> roommates for the foreseeable future, how about we introduce ourselves to each other? What a great and friendly idea that I don't want to participate in. How many save points do we get? We only get 20. Ah, oh, man. Oh, they're doing, like, the single step around. Oh, that's annoying. The name's Shigetaka Komatsu. Komat. Yeah, Komatsu. I'm a novelist. No way. The Shigetaka... Oh, Shigetaka Komatsu. What? You know this guy. What crime fiction-loving reader doesn't know him? Honestly... I'm not that big of a deal. Huh. <laughs> I see. Mr. Inaba, you always seem so well-read. You really haven't heard of him before. I never bother reading... Oh, with reading murder mystery novels because I know the criminal's true identity a hundred pages before the Flatfoot does. I mean, isn't that the point of the novels is that you could figure it out? And then, like, the tension of the person not knowing? Yeah, sure. Uh-huh. Totally believable. All right, can we talk to him again? Oh, nope, you only get to talk once. Ah, uh, I'm Seiya Harima. I'm a doctor, more or less. Can you elaborate on what you mean by more or less? You're either a doctor or you aren't. I hope that today finds you both well. Whoa, a doctor. Then I look forward to you treating my injuries. Why, yes, of course. How about we all save ourselves some grief later? And just start wrapping her head with bandages this instant. Let's start with her mouth. Shut up, Miss Saidaba. Hey, you're so mean. I'm the bus driver, Kotaro Akashi. Ko ko yeah, Akashi. I sincerely apologize for all the trouble that this happened so far. Dude, they oh my god. It's not your fault that there was a frickin' landslide. You have to apologize for it. It certainly wasn't your fault, Mr. Bus Driver. He just said the name. We're still calling him Mr. Bus Driver. Thanks, I'm glad to hear it. Please don't hesitate to ask anything from me. Please call me by my name. That'd be great. Hey, uh, name's Tell Nagashi. Nagagishi. Naka. Nakagishi. By the way, I work as a chef. It's great to meet you. Whoa. It's great to meet you, too. That's the spirit. Let's pull through this together. What a lively fellow. Uh huh. Who am I missing? He, look at the one guy not walking around. All right. So, uh, hmm, opinions about them so far. I don't like this person. This person's kind of freaking me out. This guy's kind of, uh, he's okay. This one's kind of annoying me too. So what about you? I'm Kenichi Nakaya. Nakaya. A carpenter. You are way too skinny to be a carpenter. Don't lie to me, boy. Uh, it's nice to meet you. What do they have you do, sweep? We done here. Then get the hell out of my face. I'm joking. I also have done like flooring stuff and I'm a pretty skinny guy. It's not it's not your fault. Gasp! 
Sorry. Would you quit stuttering and just spit it out already? Please let go. I think we got to know everyone. Not quite. We still don't know anything about the both of you. Oh, that's right. I'm totally slipped my mind. My name's Nina Arimura. I'm Sogonaba, a detective. Seriously? Damn, we really got ourselves a private eye here. Well, and I am his assistant. If anything has you stumped, please... God, her fucking mouth is bothering me. It makes me... Okay, what happens is that it, because of its silhouette, when I'm reading and I'm seeing it out of the corner of my eye, it just looks like she's put on a fake mustache. That's exactly what it looks like to me every single time that it happens, and it makes me laugh. Please do stop on by to the Anaba Detective Bureau. It's probably like ran out of his apartment. Are you spreading propaganda? Ha ha ha, maybe I will pay a visit one day. Now that everyone's met each other, we should spend some time exploring the mansion. We also need to get everyone situated in their rooms for the night. We're, like, we're just gonna spread out and live... In, in a different rooms just because they're there why what isn't that like super imposing on the person who owns this house we what you would do is like hey we'll take like one room right you whatever in that case you may need these keys don't give them the keys no why would you do that no i hate this game i hate it i'll be sure to look after <laughs> I'll be sure to look after these. Oh, these look super useful if you're playing a game in a horror game and, oh, you just gave them to me. I'll go ahead and lock the doors. I've come across in advance. That'd be great. I think I'll take a little look around. As will I. Come, Arimura. Let's be off. Right behind you. What's her pay? I have to deal with this. Whoa. Oh, piano music. Hell yeah. Taking a look around, yeah? Sounds like a serious pain in the ass for me. Uh-huh, cool. Are you supposed to be exploring the ranch? And dude, oh my god, I freaking don't like that guy. He's my least favorite character so far. Alright, what do we got? This looks like a fun room. It's a globe whose color is dulled. There's a bundle of tattered cloths. You can only guess what their use is. Crazy sealed shut. Uh-huh. Oh, wow. Whoa. There's nothing of significance inside this cardboard box. All right, so we've we've come across our first storage room. We'll have to remember this for later. It's always going to be useful at some point in time. The shelves are mostly empty. There isn't anything useful. Blah, 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 blah. Cool, awesome. Oh my god, I'm so glad that I decided to check out this room first. The room that has literally nothing in it. All right, what about down and left? Ah, oh, Mr. Inaba. Miss Arimura. Huh? Yes. Oh, Mr. Akashi, did you find something? Yes, I happen to have found the guest rooms. So I took the liberty of assigning everyone their own quarters. You two are going to be sleeping together in the same bed. I just thought that would be great. Mr. Inaba, your room is the second floor from the left of the East Hall, past the entranceway. And Mr. Arimura, your room is to the left of his. Now we have our own individual rooms, Mr. Inaba. I bet you're excited to hear that. Yes, my apologies for being such a poor roommate. To let you know, here in the West Hall, going from right to left, the rooms are going to belong to Mr. Harima. I'm not going to remember any of this, so whatever. And in the East Hall, past the entranceway, going from left to right, the first two rooms going along. Okay. Mm hmm Nice. And then past... Uh-huh. Oh, last room is vacant. All right, cool. If you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Well, I'm going to probably be... Where did you teleport to, Magician? What? Got a little Kleenex. Wow, there's like freaking hotels in here. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Waste bucket? What do you put in the waste bucket? Small chest storing away personal items. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. And a plant. A decorative plant? Has been well maintained. Oh, oops. Uh-huh. So they're all exactly the same. Nice. I already forgot where he said my room was. I think he said it was up. Oh, there you are. I hope the, oh, I hope help comes soon. Okay. Am I supposed to talk to them multiple times? I think it said something about that. Um, 
Oh, this is our room, huh? I get it. No, it was upstairs. Whoa! Look at that. Why is it dark in the corner? I am getting incredible. I was going to say boogeyman vibes, but um, I think even more so is paranormal syndrome right now. Which is good. I'm not saying that it's exactly the same. It's not. It's just because of the tile set. Bam. Oh. Oh, we all get to share the same bathroom. Immaculately cleaned. Okay, so this is like a super well-maintained area. I gotta find the pooper. This is truly the least of my concerns right now. All right. But you know what? I bet in a matter of time, it's going to slowly inch into a more important situation for you. Ah! Hey, Mr. Detective and Miss Assistant. Check out this kitchen. It looks pretty all right. There's even fresh food in the fridge. But really? I like the sound of this. Now that I think of it, I'm feeling a tad peckish. Mind cooking us something? You got it, boss. It'll be my specialty. Hey, I'll help out. Yeah, that'd be awesome, actually. I'll let you know when we're done, Mr. Inaba. I'd appreciate it. Awesome. Cool. Oh, look, she's so helpful. Mr. Nakagishi, you're so incredibly talented at cooking. No one would have expected it just by looking at you. Your incredibly unimpressive demeanor and unkept body. Aw, uh, cut it Oh, wait. What do you mean by that last part? I've got a web up feast. All right, what we got? You smell it? Be like that guy that like shoulder coaches everyone. All right, you're not supposed to do it like that. You're supposed to do it like this. You unlock the door from this side. Oh, oh, that makes sense. Well, the bunch. Oh, a bunch of fresh food and ingredients are stored inside the refrigerator. Oh. Yum. Wonder what he's gonna make. It's gonna be something probably Japanese as hell. Oh, vines. Is she old enough to drink? I don't know. They here, hold on. They have a little... Okay, the music's probably going to stop as I go over. They have a little thing that tells me on the right, um, on the notepad, how old they all are. Okay, so uh, Inaba is... He's 26 years old? 5 foot 9. They have these big, huge, like... Uh, what, do, what do you call it? Like, uh, character bios? It's like, I'm not going to fucking read this. Maybe later. Uh, it's... She's only 17! Yo! You ha is that even old enough to work in Japan? Probably. Alright, and then Akashi is 32, so that's the bus driver. Then Nakagishi, who's the guy cooking. Uh, he's 24. Uh, then Seiya is 28. Dude, 28? You're already a doctor. Good for you. I guess that's about the time that you would finish and like actually be done with all your shit. Uh, Takamatsu is 26. Um, the, that's the weird guy with the weird face who's the mystery novelist Kanichi, who's the skinny carpenter, is 27. Uh, oh, evidently there's one more person, uh, that hasn't been introduced yet, so we will, we will say their age when they are introduced. I don't think that's a spoiler, that was just a fucking read me. Don't spoil me just by doing the read me, what do you think this is? Where's my room? Oh my god, why would you have- Why would there be a toilet here? That's so in the public. Uh, this is truly uh blah, 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 blah. okay. Where is the frickin' room? Give me the room. I want it. Oh. Ah, Mr. Inaba. So that's where you were. Everyone's already gathered together. What are you talking about? I just saw them all walking around. Oh. You guys already done? Yes, sir. Come on, hurry up before I get called. Alright. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Hey, you made it. Oh, diamond press. This looks divine. It really does look rather nice, doesn't it? Well, what are we waiting for? Let's eat. Ah, oh, this is just delicious. Aha, thanks, man. Oh, man, okay. Have my compliments to the shelf. Well, actually, that's just a saying. Ah! I wasn't talking about you. Oh, come on, Mr. Inaba. <laughs> Huh? Mr. Akashi? What? H Hurrah! Hey, what is this bullshit? Someone better say something, damn it! 
I can't be. What, what, what is this? Dr. Harima, could you please check him out? Oh, that's right, I'm a doctor. Doctor? Oh, yes, of course. It's just as we feared. He was poisoned. I'm almost certain it was slipped into his meal. <laughs> how is this possible? I'll teach you how. You son of a bitch! You! Whoa, whoa, hold up there. Why would I do something like that? He's right, you know. I was right there the whole time. Yo, I bet you're the murderer. If Mr. Nakagishi tried to slip poison into his meal, I'd have noticed. Yo, it was you. I'm blaming you right now. Throw her under the bus. Pinch her cheek. And who's to say you're not accomplices? But I... Arimura, I never expected you would. Not you too, Mr. Rinova. It was a joke. Learn to take it. Not funny. Well, speculations aside, let's talk facts here. Both Mr. Nakagishi and Miss Arimura were involved with the meal preparations. Thus, the spotlight of suspicion falls on them. Let's kill them both! Why, yes, that's correct. By this admission, shouldn't we confine these two somewhere? You want to lock us up? Ooh, you want to lock and tie me up? Oh, it's down to, oh, you want to put a ball cake in my... I'm certain there was a storage room of some sorts on the first... Oh my god, I freaking called it! I knew that that room was going to be used for something. The first floor that can be locked from the outside will keep you in there, you pigs. How about we keep them there for the night? Or at least until help arrives. Uh, hold your horses, people. You really want to lock up a man and young woman together in a tiny area like that. Oh? You don't have to worry about that, Miss Detective. You're just a tad too young for my tastes. Liar! That's a different issue entirely. Really now, isn't confinement going a bit too far? You'd rather have a potential killer just strolling around instead. Could you rest peacefully knowing every breath you take might be your last? Not if you put it that way, but... Dr. Harimura... Not much room for debate, huh? If we want to get back everyone's trust, we'll just have to go along with what they say. Ah, Don't fret, Arimura. Here's my gun. Oh, Mr. It- Oh. I'll take it as a- Wait. I'll take an apocalypse for a man's standards to fall low enough to be interested in you. What the fuck, dude? Mr. Itaba, you're so mean! This farce has gone on long enough. Move it, both of you! Whoopsh. Hard to believe how this has turned out. First of all, I should examine this room thoroughly. 